Sapi paper is manufactured from wood grown in sustainably managed forests and plantations. The timber used for paper production comes either from deciduous trees, such as birch, poplar, beech and eucalyptus, or conifer trees like spruce, fir and pine. Conifer wood has longer fibers than deciduous species and generally forms stronger papers. When the logs arrive at the woodyard, they are fed into a rotating drum which removes the bark. The logs are then chipped. The largest source of wood chips for papermaking is the recycled offcuts from industrial sawmills. The wood chips are transported to the pulp mill on a conveyor belt. As they enter the pulp mill, the wood chips are fed into a digester, where they are cooked in an acid solution to dissolve the lignin and separate the plant fibers. We call the pulp obtained from this process wood-free, because the lignin has been dissolved. The fibers are washed to remove the acid solution, and the pulp is now soft and fibrous. Before it can be used to make white paper, the pulp is bleached and any residual lignin, which would cause the paper to yellow with age, is filtered out. To protect the environment, this bleaching is chlorine-free, using oxygen and peroxide. The yellow-brown wood chips that entered the pulp mill have now been turned into a soft white pulp, the principal raw ingredient for making paper. This treated pulp can be dried, baled and transported to other paper mills, which may either not have their own pulp mill or may require a specific type of pulp to give the paper particular characteristics. Whether produced on site or bought on the market, the pulp enters the paper mill and is mixed with water. The pulp solution is refined by passing it through a series of rotating and stationary blades. These give the fibers a variable degree of clean cut or fibrillated ends. Fibrillated fibers bind more tightly with adjacent fibers, creating stronger paper. Wood fibers alone would produce rough textured and unevenly dense paper and fillers such as calcium carbonate and clay are mixed in to make the paper more opaque and give it a more controlled density. Dyes, optical brighteners and sizes may also be blended into the pulp to improve the appearance of the paper. By far the most important process material is water. About 100 litres of fresh water are needed to make one kilogram of paper. Sophisticated wastewater treatment plants and closed water circulation systems on the paper line allow over 90% of this water to be recycled. The pulp solution is now a carefully controlled mix of fibers, fillers and coloring agents suspended in water, ready to enter the paper machine.